Joshua 3.13a Vahaya Kanoach Kapot Regale Hakohanim No se e Aron Hashem Adon Kol Haaretz Bame Hayordain. And it will be, I'll take this k temporally, as or when the resting of the uh, souls of the feet of the priests carrying the ark of the Lord, the Lord of all the earth, at the waters of the Jordan. So this is a long setup, and we'll uh, look at the next part of the verse next time. Kanoach, this comes from Nun Vav Chet, to rest. And in this case, we have a Kal, infinitive construct, and we can see there's an a, attached preposition, k, like or as, here again, taken in the sense of when. We also have nose this comes from noon, seen, aleph, and this is a kal participle, masculine plural. As we can see by the ending, it's in construct with uh, the ark. So the priests, that is an apposition, the ones carrying the ark of the Lord, the Lord of all the earth, um, at the waters of the Jordan. So Joshua has been talking to the people and telling them above to watch as the ark crosses over before them. And now uh, there's even a further setup, and it will be when the soles of the feet are resting there. So Joshua is being very self-conscious. This is a big ceremony. That is, there's a lot of self-conscious attention to this event because of its significance. And in the end, then, part of the significance, I suppose, between the crossing of the sea and then the wilderness journeys, then the crossing of the Jordan, uh, these events are going to get connected together. So what we've been seeing is a lot of attention going into the authority, the presence, and the entire act of the Lord with Israel.